Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here in episode 10 of Assassin's Creed Revelations, the Ezio Collection. In the previous episode, we... Uh, what did we do? I know we started off by doing the Curse of the Romani quest, which involved us uh, going around and poisoning guards to give off the false impression that the Romani's cursed it. Uh, we cleared the South Bayezid and South, Im South Constantine district of Templar influence, and we worked on some collectibles basically. Now um, I said that we'd start up this episode by doing our first optional t um, den defense. Um, we were just a bit shy of it last time, and I couldn't really find ways of upgrading our notoriety. So what I did instead is um, these, this set of um, so this landmark, the tailor. So that's the um, ghoul mosque. But that the tailor, the books shop, the blacksmith, and the doctor around there. I just ended up buying these, and they ended up attacking um, this den down here. So the South Bayezid district, which is literally the last one that we just took over. So oops no matter. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can see that we've got Templars all over the place at this Another point. Um, no. Yep, so we need to Is go to the not? Assassin Den to start this up. On the defense, Templars are trying to recapture the Den, defend it and drive them away. So you need to do this an option, um, three times um, for the one of the Assassin's challenges. Um, so what we've got? So we've got Assassin Leaders, Stall, Barricade, Assassin Crossbow, Rifleman, Air Assassins. So. Oh, that's right. And it's so got everything that we want here. So, you've seen how this goes before. So, what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm going to speed it up. So, I'm not wasting too much of the episode time. Um, but you do unlock new assassin types every time you do this so it's recommended that you do do it anyway but I shall see you when we're done go guys we've done that assassin den we'll have defended it uh yeah sure whatever and we gained um car trap bombers now and greek vibe barricade so it's cool that did not go the way i planned uh basically obviously you saw that it was the south Bayezid district that got attacked i did that one and i failed it <laughs> the uh I managed to get through a bit awkwardly, so not only did I have to take over the territory, I lost the um, awareness as well, so I literally had to go to another territory, build that up to the top without um, renovating anything because I didn't have the money to. So, yeah, well, second time's the charm. We did manage to do it. Thank God. <laughs> Been very messy so far, but that's it. That's the first one done. Final. Alright. Doesn't set a good example when I can't do the first one. A little help for the others. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we've done that now. I've satisfied that part of the agreement. I also said that I was going to work towards finishing sequence 3 in this episode, which I'm also going to do. Uh, so we're going to need to return to the Galata district because we've done everything uh, down here. So we'll do that. Um, stock up on supplies while I'm down here and fix my armour. This is the area of places where I'd um, 
Well, I'd renovate it but before this episode. Let's grab that. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. Yes, I will try to avoid pointy objects, thanks for that. <laughs> um, okay. But yeah, and I also finished off the um kill soldiers with the crossbow that be detected one as well whilst I was going for the um refilling of the awareness meter. Okay. Um, so the, yeah, the plan is for this episode, we're going to try and finish off Secrets 3. Um, just depending on how long we have after that, which I'm not too sure how long we will have. Um, it will depend if we get any more um, Pyramid Rise missions done. Because right, I want to get some more of those done, because it means I can buy supplies from him. So yeah. We have a... Fragment around there somewhere. It's on our level, that's good. I see you. Where are you? What? Alright, cool. Only 20 more of those to go until we um, can find where all the rest of them are, so that's good. Alright. That's helpful. Okay, enough dilly dallying now. We'll stop going here, there, and everywhere. Let's get back to the Galata district. Which will have us exploring the Masyaf Key. I'm well, not exploring it, it's a bit of a poor word to use, but examining it and um, showing us the other, our other protagonist of this game, which you probably already know. But uh, I'm not going to say it just in case, you know, just in case it's a surprise to some people. But, I mean, look at the box art, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to send my assassins off as well. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually do really anything else in Alexandria. Or Algiers, whatever, whichever it is. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, I got a lot of um, level ups there. Let's get all these guys sorted. Yeah, good, a good tip for um, leveling up guys really quickly is um, get um, well, once you've got an assassin that's really high ranked, send them on like a hard mission, so where it'll be like 100%, so even if it's like a level 4 one, if theirs is 100%, and then just add like the ones who are the lowest, oh, I meant to send them off then. So your lowest ranking ones, and so it will split the amount of XP you get from each one. Uh, get rid of money? What? Oh dear, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, um, I think the maximum can get control is 50%. That's a bit embarrassing as well. Um, okay, let's reclaim the city. Before we even do <laughs> anything. Um, let's print the stuff that's about. Can we use this one? No, I guess not. Um, shall we just send these off on small missions just to keep them busy? Uh, shall you do that? Though? I don't care really. Okay, uh, so keep on going now. So obviously you can tell it's got a little bit of a different symbol than the typical one, which is, you know, just like a black square and an exclamation mark. This one's got a book behind it. Uh, this one's called a Sophia memory, even though I know this one doesn't actually have anything to do with Sophia. Um, all the ones relating to her or the Massey of Keys have that symbol. And also the book quests as well, which uh, we've not actually started yet. I don't know if we can start it yet, but... It'll be soon, at the very least in sequence 4 we'll be able to do it. Bloody hell. Where are we going here? Let's hop the wall. Cross the border. Hey, no one needs to see me. I'm not doing nothing wrong. Shut your pie hole. Right, drop. Alright, so as you can clearly tell, we're at the Assassin Den again, so... Definitely the one that I'm thinking of. 
Okie doke. Where do we need to go? It's in this room to the right, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Let's do it. The markings on this key are familiar. And the material. I have seen its kind before. Just like the Apple of Eden. Ancient technology from the first civilization. Whoa. Trippy. Trippy. Oh, everything's all gold and shimmery. We're tripping out. Whoa. Masiaf. 11.89. Altair at 24. The Mentor's Keeper. Anything look familiar here, guys? <laughs> I'll be a bit remastered. Are you hurt? Mm, broken foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair, we have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al Mualim. Where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for you now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. All right, well, yeah, there's our second protagonist, Altair Ibn La Ahad. Now with a un-Americanized voice. <laughs> There you go. Something that you didn't ask for, but you'll get regardless. Alright, um, so I think we should have an optional requirement for this mission. Uh, save all citizens under attack. That's our, that's our job here. Defend uh, ourselves first. So I believe that. If I'm not mistaken, this is the um, event leading up to Alan Williams' death. Or it might be um, before that. That might be the next one that I'm thinking of. I'm not too sure. Um, so you want to go to these black circles that are mapped on your map. Those are the um, citizens under attack. Just like in Assassin's Creed 1. <laughs> so that was annoying little side missions, you had to save people. God, I remember them. They were horrible. Not necessarily the fact they were difficult, it was just the fact that half the time it glitched and they'd run off. And then you'd be like, why are you doing this? Alright. Um, doesn't show it on the map, does it? The optional guys. I'm not sure. Just want to make sure I don't miss any, that's all. Oh, yeah. Can we get a five kill streak? Yes, we can. I don't know if it'll still count to the challenge considering we're not technically playing as Ezio, but I know we still have a couple more of those to go. I think we got a optional citizen over here, or a couple of optional citizens over here. Let's save those. Oh. Who's after me here? Don't I think I just have to hide this haystack. Wait on you. What are you doing? Oh my god. Are you going up or down or left or right? Or what the hell is going on? Ah! 
that, was that me or was that? The assassin I was with. Oh. Alright. Come on, who's, who's this geezer over here? Oh, careful. people to save. Alright, we're just gonna keep running and then if we can get them all clumped together rather than redefend them one individually. I don't want no try to, otherwise I can't tell if... Oh, there is another citizen we nearly missed. Oh my god. How many people are there going to be? That's where we saved this one. Told me so. Okay, dog. Right, come on, let's keep moving. Oh, great. Right, come on, bitches. Where's I go? I can't see. Don't change the camera angle without letting me know. Come on, guys. Good. Good, Anakin. Good. All right. We're here. Kill the Crusader without being detected. Another step, and your mentor dies. Oh no! So this isn't the one where we kill all Mullen. This is the one before it. So this takes place before the events of leave this place one. Alive, no, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly love. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. So is he an assassin originally? I don't know. It's clearly not a um, Robert de Sam, obviously. No one is scared to be French enough. Whoa! Now you call on your lapdog to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity? Mm hmm Yeah, do you fancy a, a, light, a ride down? Yeah, that's right. So you can play that game, Sunshine. So we've got to do this stealthily, otherwise they'll, um... Kill. Another good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Almoli, but patience was yeah, not so one of them. Then. Speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah, yeah, there's no under assassin control. <laughs> We're getting messages from the future. Night, bitch. That's right. What about that? You go on, Molly, you bloody traitor. <laughs> One of the spoilers for those who haven't played or watched Assassin's Creed 1. Go watch the playlist. You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <laughs> uh, perhaps.
Perhaps I am not wise enough to understand. But I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. Aha. Uh -huh. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces, as was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time. And it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy. And ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Alright. And there we go. That's the end of that. So, of course, as I said, that obviously takes place before the events of Assassin's Creed, you know, or Assassin's Creed 1, if you want to call it that. But, yeah. Very interesting. You obviously had a bit of a voice change between this and Al Mulim's death, where he became American, of course. <laughs> uh, so they contain recorded memories, these keys, these ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know? Or to learn? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, where's the last memory? Okay, so it's... Here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well we'll do that as well. I don't think we'll have to consider it 20, approximately 24 minutes now. I don't think we'll have the time to get any of the um, periodized missions done, but we shall see. First of all, I need to send my boys off again. Because while well, you're not, so they're not defending cities, the Templars are taking influence unfortunately, so. You, don't, you can't afford to leave it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's see. So. Do this one. I just want to get this out of the way. So we're still at 50%. 25% here, so... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Why does everything cost bloody money? Uh, sure, whatever, I'll just go for this. I don't care. Uh, bursa, bursa, bursa. Okay. No, it's not enough. Nope. I don't know. So let's go with that. Too bloody confusing that to be honest. I just want to make sure that um, we get all of the optional ones done, and then not the optional. You know what I mean? The um, like special, unique ones. It's like the named ones, especially the um, Pirate Ice missions that appear in some of them, because they give us more bomb ingredients to buy from them, which are very useful for us. So definitely want them. And other ones that give you like a little bit of a bonus, you know, where it says like you'll get extra XP and stuff like that. Ha, nice try. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's pretty badass. I just want to get all of those done in every city and then control them all at once to get the achievement. Then after that, I'm not really that fussed. So if they get contested by the Templars again, I'll just end up leaving it. Alright, what do we have? The Sentinel Part 2. One of your assassins has learned more information about the man known as the Sentinel. Time to take care of this traitor. Do not be detected while you search for prisoners. Ah, yes, I remember this one. Okay. And the news of the traitor valley. You found him. He found us, Minto. Two of our brothers were kidnapped from this den earlier today. Now Vali is demanding that we hand over our property to the Templars. No. Do not negotiate with men who use hostages as leverage. We hunt them down, and we eliminate them. Then we should split up and search Galata now. We have little time to waste. Okay. Locate and free the captured assassins. Will do. This can be a bit of an awkward one. If you don't know what you're doing now. This may be okay for me now because I sort of like an understanding of what I'm supposed to be doing. I typically like going in, you know, guns heavy. Not guns, you know, blades are trigger happy, but with blades. Oh, I love this bit of soundtrack. Yeah. It's very nostalgic, this. This is my, um, the pro I think I've said it in the past, this was my first Assassin's Creed game that I ever owned, and I hated it at first. But then, when I played other games, I enjoyed it more for its story. So when well, you don't know like, the story beforehand, you're not going to have a good time with it. Uh, so yeah. Alright, so we've got guys below us. Obviously, they're all surrounded. What we need is the thieves. Yes, you. Come here. Um, get rid of them. Whoa. Oh. Alright. Eight. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, come on, what are you doing? Right, need no attention. Just look away. Don't come anywhere near me. Or do, I don't care. Bye bye. Okay, it's one down. One more to go. Um, do we have any more thieves about? Yes, we do. Come here, you. Moving like the wind. Ready. Uh, yes. Go All grab right. them. Go. On. Scoop. Good. Was it Vali who did this to you? Mentor, forget me. You have fallen for a ruse. He captured me to draw assassins away from our headquarters. He will be on his way there now. Oh, the little bastard. More. You can All right. So yeah, we can do, we can get detected now, thankfully. For a second there, before I saw the optional come up, I was like, oh god, no. But yeah, it's fine now. <laughs> Be trigger happy. Alright, alright. Settle down, settle down. He's made a mistake, he knows that. He decided to attack the guild. Well, let's see, Auditori was on top. And he shall suffer his consequences. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here. Let's see him try to take me on. Because he would regret it. Alright, you do you. you. I've trained you well. You know what you're doing. I'm on a time limit. 
I may be. You are a canny soldier, Ezio. But you alone are not enough to save this city. And you are? I will follow from the rooftops. Okay. Chase the sensor. So don't kill him. Damn it. I want to find someone to shoot an assassin at. Because we've still got a challenge related to... Oh, never mind. Looks like he's taking care of it. The two haven't called an assassin's in memory. Once your creed was as vital to me as air and water. But when the Turks marched into Wallachia, and you assassins did nothing to stop it, how could I continue to believe? If a man's philosophy does not let him protect his people, his home, and his family, what good can it do for the world? Peace be with you. Okay, and there we go. That is the end of sequence three. We've got my protege. We've got seal the deal. This are my protege is for getting um, our first guy to master assassin level. So obviously the other one was for finishing sequence three. So there we go. Lovely, lovely. Now I know I say this every time, but I don't think this one boosts out the animus. I think Claudia. Yeah, it's close. I am now in possession of one of the Masyaf keys, and better still. I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Its full meaning is a mystery to me, but I am thankful to have met a Venetian woman willing to help me decipher it. I must not overstate my successes. The Templars still hold one key hostage, and if I am to recover it, I may need more help than the Assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, my access to the secrets of this city will improve greatly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Doc. Very good. I don't know if it boots into a cutscene or we just go straight back. Uncivil War. All right. Cool. We've got new items at the blacksmith. As I would have liked to have hoped. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, we are quite a ways ahead in terms of um, the main story in comparison to optional stuff. So I think um, in the coming episodes we'll be doing a lot more of that. Um, might as well just grab this viewpoint whilst we're here. Alright, and then we'll wrap up for that for sure. Awesome. Well, kiddo, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, this is that area thus far. Um, so, we've still got one more Templar den. That's it? Only one more? Seriously? Wow. Okay, well, we'll grab that when probably the next episode. Uh, you can notice that we've got Master Assassin missions at all these places. Um, we can also start working on them. I was just a bit wary about the fact that um, we still have to keep the place open for doing those optional, you know, um, den takeovers. Um, right, so sequence three. We are at 100% synchronization, of course. Uh, we got the Mentor's Keeper. And we had the Sentinel Part Two. Um, so the sense of the Sentinel quest is um, pretty much a Master Assassin mission. Um, what you'd expect from all the other HQs, except that one's obviously made part of the main sequence, just so that you get get a feel for it. But um, it's very similar to that. Um, so we appear to have one, two, three. We've got six memories in sequence four, so it's not so bad. Um, so yeah, Master Assassin missions, so we've got a lot, um, and they're all like part 1 and part 2, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we've got 12, so that's 6 missions in total. Um, Pure Race, we still need to work on, challenges, additional memories, all that jazz, you know how it is. Armour, it's the same, weapons the same, supplies the same, this will all be the same. 
map, let's say the map's looking pretty decent. I want to try and get all the viewpoints cleared up ASAP, um, but definitely working on collectibles and stuff as well. The sooner we can get to 50 Animus Fragments, the better. Um, so, maybe. Anyway, recent entries, what have we picked up? I can't remember the last thing that we did. I think um, it was Merlion Church. As in, that's the last one that I showed you last time, but just in case I didn't, there you go. We were, I know this one's definitely new, so we have a little Hagia Sophia. We have the Harbour of Julianne. A lot of these areas are in the um, South Imperial District, the area that I was using to get the Templar level back up. And we have the Hippodrome. Alright, that should be everything. So, as I said guys, in the next episode we will start working more on the side stuff and we'll probably be doing that for a good while now, just so I feel that um, we're at a good level about balanced of where we should be for sequence 4. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 11. Everything changes. Bye, guys.